okay, so evaluate the limit and cosine function and sine function fairly easy to do. Unfortunately, what happens at the top, the top is zero and the bottom is also zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to manipulate. I'm trying to get a cancellation. I'm gonna multiply the top by the conjugate. And I, if certainly you multiply the top by that, you multiply the bottom by that. What do you get over there? Limit. X goes towards zero. Well, if you multiply the top out, you're going to get 1 minus cosine squared. I'm not going to multiply the bottom out, by the way. I'm looking really, I'm looking for a cancellation. And you get 1 plus cosine of x over here. Now, granted, you could cancel it and, and go backwards, but I want to go forwards. And I notice immediately that the uh, top is a Pythagorean identity now. And what's that going to be? Sine squared. And on bottom, you get sine x times 1 plus cosine of x. I do see the cancellation now. I want to point out x is not 0, so the sine is not 0. So we left off with sine x over 1 plus cosine of x. All right? What do you do here? Well, limit loss kind of apply nicely here, right? And what do you get on top? You get zero. What do you get on bottom? You get two. You get zero over two. What's zero over two? It's zero. All right. Let's get the uh, the grade key. Let's see how we're looking at it. Let's see if we got the same thing. And I'm seeing that conjugate business, seeing it multiplied out. I'm seeing that Pythagorean identity being used. I'm seeing a simplification over here. And I do see the limit, as we have stated, to be zero. Thank you.